Hi folks, Sandro here with more cartoon news and shenanigans. And if you'd like more cartoon news and shenanigans, then ask you to please subscribe to the channel. In fact, do it right now so you don't forget about it later. And I thank you very much for that, guys. So today, we don't have exactly the happiest story, but um, last night you guys wanted me to talk about this because what a wild life. What a wild life, you know? Um, so this is Ruthie Thompson. She has passed away and the thing that caught me off guard, like I thought when people posted this in my chat, you know, people were talking about the passing of, uh, what was it? Thea White, who was the, the creator, she, or not the creator. She was the voice of Muriel on courage, the cowardly dog. Recently, there was a movie. I actually did a review for it. It was, Cur um, straight out of nowhere. Courage, the cowardly dog meets Scooby-Doo. What a mouthful. What a goddamn... <laughs> That is a terrible name for the movie. I think it's just a bit too long, honestly. But um, she was in it, and it was her last performance before she passed away. Uh, very sad. I remember I, I read an article about her, and it, basically she was hoping to watch it with her grandkids, and she passed away just like a couple of day, like a couple of weeks. Uh, it was, she was just a couple of weeks before the movie came out. Uh, it just makes me sad that she just never got to finish her last movie and watch it with her grandkids. But uh, today we're talking about Ruthie Tom uh, Thompson. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I, I, you can't even be sad. You can't even be. I mean, it's always sad. My my own father passed away when he was only forty one. But um, you know, it's like you you can't even be sad about this. She died at 111. That's why I was in my chat. I'm in my chat. And and they're like, did you hear about Ruthie Thompson? Uh, and I'm like, no, what about her? Uh, I, don't, I don't even know who Ruthie Thompson is. And then they're like, she died. She's like, they're like, she's a Disney legend. And, and she died at 111. And I was like, what? 111? And uh, I, I think I just had to talk about this one because this is a, a wild ride. Um, I, you can't be sad at 111, you know, that's, that's the most, uh, blissful way. And I think I, not only did she die at 111, I believe she died of natural causes. Uh, I think that's what I seen yesterday. We're going to have to read an article. I, I haven't read an article yet about her. So I just wanted to quickly go over this variety.com is where we are article by Katie song, Ruthie Thompson, animator, pioneer, and Disney legend dies at 111. Ruthie Thompson, who began her career at the Walt Disney Studios as a painter in the ink and paint department during the first golden age of Disney animation, died peacefully in her sleep at her home in the Motion Picture and Television Fund in Woodland Hills, California. She was 111. That's the, be that's the best way to go. 111 and you die in your sleep of natural causes. Like, you... There's no better way to go. You can't convince me that there's any better way. What? Okay, wait a minute. There's going to be a wise guy who's going to say, "Well, what if you died in your sleep at 112?" You know? Okay, don't be a, don't be that guy. Don't be <laughs> Don't be that guy. Um I think this is one of the most beautiful ways to, you know, go. She had her time. Uh some might say that she had more time than, you know, many others combined. Uh, I, I think this is just beautiful. I think she had a beautiful life. Uh, 111. That's nothing to sneeze at. Uh, I think she was just a couple years away from the world record too. You know, uh, what, what's the world record? Like 120, 121, uh, for the longest living person. So you, you can't complain. You can't even, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm not sad. I'm, I'm happy that, you know, getting to live to 111 is, I think that would be one of my greatest goals in life. Just getting to a hundred would be a, a legendary goal. Uh, you know, a bigger guy like me going to one hundred and eleven, man, that that would be the dream. So, uh, you know, again, sad she passed away, but man, a hundred and eleven. I I just have to say, thumbs up. She must have really. Maybe she got in her miles as a kid. Maybe she did a lot of steps. I don't know how you get to 111, but uh, probably ate her vegetables every day. <laughs> Might need to start eating some more vegetables, you know. But uh, let's read about her. Thompson worked at the Walt Disney Company for more than 40 years, retiring in 1975. Imagine retiring in 1975 and then going on to live for another, like, holy shit. 
Um, another, yeah, 2021. Um, I hope she didn't uh, pass away from, well, it said natural cause. So she didn't die of uh, any COVID related stuff. But uh, holy crap. Additionally, she was one of the first three women invited to join the International Photographers Union uh, in 1952. In 2000, as the employee with the longest history with Walt, Di- with Walt and Roy O., Disney Tom, uh, Thompson, Thompson, Thompson was named a Disney legend. The prestigious honor awarded to individuals in recognition for their extraordinary contributions to the Walt Disney company. So, you know, I don't, I don't think I'm going to have to, I'm not going to read all of this, but she was involved in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Um, that's what she's really known for. Uh, Pinocchio, Fantastasia, uh, Dumbo, Sleeping Beauty, Mary Poppins, the Aristocats. I actually secretly like that. A, a lot of people don't like that one, but I, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, and Robin Hood. See, I'm on the opposite. I actually think Robin Hood wasn't actually that good, but I think a lot of people really like that one. Uh, but yeah. A lifelong fan of two things, Disney and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, Thompson's last year shed some words with D23 to mark her 110th birthday. Have fun, she said. Try to do as much as you can for yourself. Remember all the good things in life. That's just what a great way to go. Um, you know, I, 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 you have to be happy for her. You, you, you just happy. You have to be happy that she led such a long life. You can't be sad about this one. This is not one of those ones where, you know, a person was taken before their time. This person had a a really godlike run, you know, for human, for human lifespan. Uh, yeah, a godlike run. Let me tell you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say my condolences to the family. You know, it's never fun. I remember at my dad's funeral, I had to shake so many people's hands. We had the whole community. Uh, I'm an Italian. So we had the entire, you know, all the Italians come in and then all my entire, Oh my God, they invited, I was in a Catholic school. Doesn't the principal go and invite every kid in the school to my dad's funeral home because the funeral home was in, within walking distance of the Catholic school. So we had 600 kids show up that I didn't even know half of these kids, you know, (laughs) all the teachers in my school. Oh man. Oh my God. It it was something else, man. It was something else. I had to shake all these people's hands over 2000 people's hands. My hands, when I got home, they started bleeding because I shook so many people's hands. Crazy. I know it's never, whenever somebody dies, it's never a great time. Uh, so again, I'll say my condolences to the family of Ruthie Thompson. Uh, you know, she went down a legend and she's going to live on as a Disney legend, uh, and an animation pioneer. Don't forget the animation pioneer part, but yeah, I'm still just baffled, you know, 111, you know, who, how many people get to get to the triple digits, you know, no less repeating numbers, right? One, 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 what that's a great, great number. Uh, anyways, folks. That's it from me. Let me know your thoughts on Ruthie Thompson. Uh, are you a fan of the movies that she uh, was involved in here? You know, Dumbo, Fantastasia, Pinocchio. These are all classics, uh, except for Robin Hood. I still don't like Robin <laughs> But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like the video, share the video, and please subscribe to the channel for more cartoon news and shenanigans. The end. Bye-bye. And stay alive till 111. The end.